Hello and welcome to Olton Park. Here in the Mazda, we're doing the production car challenge. It's a little bit uh, lower participation than I'm used to. Um, wait, hold on a second. I think I have... No, okay, we're good. For some reason, I thought I had something different with the setup or whatever. Um... Seemed like enough people signed up, but I'm the number three, and I'm the top-rated Mazda driver, so... Gonna have, uh... Gonna have some expectations, I guess. <laughs> number three overall, number one is the Mazda. Uh, feeling pretty quick. I do enjoy this track. And, uh, I feel like I don't give... Majors Garage enough credit. I talk about OSR all the time and their free setups, but uh, Majors Garage, they provide their free setups as well. And they do a pretty darn good job. So, uh, they just have their baseline plus or whatever. And uh, it functions pretty well. Or at least for, uh, for what I've experienced with it, so... Be careful the, off the start, though, because these uh, cold tires will want to spin on you. On these uh, crazier setups, usually the rookie series of Mazdas, it'll it's much more locked down. So you don't have to worry as much about it uh, taking off on you. Tires still aren't quite up to temp, but we'll see what we can do in this first lap here. Green flag, green flag. Yeah, not getting as much grip as I would like. I think we'll be okay. Here comes your first time lap. Everyone's dealing with the same stuff. Through there a little soft, but I kind of have to. Don't want to overdrive it. Oh, no. Speaking of overdriving and overdrive that. I'm glad that didn't give me an off track because that curb over there is so touchy. They hand them out like the one X is like candy over there. So I wanna make a habit of that. Oof. <laughs> I did that weirdly. Still we're okay. This has not been my smoothest lap, but not the worst so far. Again, went through there kind of uh, conservatively. I'll push a little harder the next lap. And I definitely don't want to start in the back back, so... Make sure I at least get a solid lap in. I overdid the... Uh, I really overdid the... Um, taking it wide there. And that killed me right before this long stretch, so... If we get solid lap, I guess at least I'll have a lap in, but it's not going to be solid. Oh well. We'll see where it brings us anyway. I stick at the angle in that. Alright. That's uh, probably my most inconsistent corner right there. That and the uh, quick little chicane or whatever you want to call it. That lap was a 152.80. Turned in too soon there. Almost gave myself an off track. I swear, once it comes to qualifying lately, I just completely fall apart. I don't know what my problem is. Lap's not ruined yet, though. We'll try to get a better one. This time through. Pretty good through that section. Take this a little harder this time. It's <laughs> still a little bit nervous, but better. 
You can really fly through there if you get it right, but uh, you can also get very destroyed if you do it wrong. And I did manage to, uh... Oh, turn. I did manage to, uh... Clip the tire barrier, heading through the chicane over there during practice, so don't want to do that either. Oh, messed up the angle on that. Been really bad at qualifying lately. I don't know what it is. But at least this lap will be better than the last. Let's see where it brings us. 152, 7, 2, 151.9. Bring us fifth. Okay. Flag. That's respectable, I think. 151.0. Oh. That's a good lap. That's better than my best lap. So that guy's really fast. 151.3. My best lap's better than that, but I can't hit that consistently. And uh, the 151 sevens, I think I should be able to keep up with if I don't mess up <laughs> my uh, laps. So, okay. Pretty happy with that. Then we got our Mustang out front. And uh, all the Mustangs are going to be put out front, of course. Multi class. So, well, we don't even have that many. We have five. This guy's underrated because he likes to make secondary and tertiary accounts um, so he's gonna be faster than the number 12 indicates he's usually number one when he's on his main accounts I recognize him he's always in these production production car challenges always oh, running the Mustang too I think pretty often anyway I think I've seen him run the Jetta or something before too but uh, he'll be fast ideally we wouldn't have to deal with the Mustangs at all give them plenty of room and then maybe they'll be faster but does look like there are some guys that are slower, despite being in the Mustangs, so I have to watch out for them. We'll see what happens. I almost chose to do a race in the Solstice, almost switched it up, but I'm glad I didn't, because exactly what I expected. Not enough people signed up to have a big enough field in the Solstice, and I don't really want to battle one person. So, all right. I did uh, add one gallon of fuel Line up on the right side. to the uh, right setup there. just because there was that one time that I ran out coming to the flag. It was the time where I forgot to hit record. I think that's the one time that's happened. I did a race here. I think it was uh, maybe the Advanced Mazda or something. I forgot to hit record for it. And... Uh, I was running out of fuel on the last stretch and lost a spot because of it, so I don't really see a need to cut it that close. I'll take my extra gallon. Maybe let someone else run out. <laughs> but we'll be starting number six of the Mazdas. Not too bad. Just a couple of guys that are a little out of out of our league here. Presumably, the 51.0 and the 51.3. 51.3 might still be our pace. They just happen to nail it for qualifying. Excuse me. Because if I got my best all time, it would be 51.2. So. Could have. Could have been. But more likely, they are able to be that fast consistently. So, we will not be catching up. These all ready for our fast repair that we hopefully never use. Oh, we got a Futurama car in front of us. That's fun. Hey, Jim, you want to set up on your boat thing? It's a good show. There's a guy asking the Mustang driver to. I don't hear what he said. Something about his setup. 25 minutes. The track temp is 70 Fahrenheit. See if uh, the Mazdas give the Mustangs any room, or if we're going to be following right behind them. Got some eager beavers ready to go. 
better be ready too, because I have much time. We're already part way through the course. Is the leader just going to have us do a standing start? <laughs> Jeez. You know, they're probably close already. Now I gotta remember the tires are gonna be cold. Very, very important to remember that because the, dro the car drives green. completely you, different. Buddy, I believe we're going. Green flag, green flag. All right, these starts can be messy. That wasn't too bad, thankfully. Cut off. Thanks, dude. Hopefully we get some room. This is going to be messy. Alright. Did that pretty well, considering the state of the car. That was pretty slow. Fine. I think your engine's slow. You might just pull off, mate. So now we've got ourselves a train in front of us. And I have to anticipate having to break a little sooner as they stack up on each other. So far, so good. Come on, I think. Put it off. Gotta really be careful through here. Don't Will on the Has to angle really bad here, but we're fine. Just under driving it a lot, and it's kind of messing me up. But once we get in the rhythm, we'll be a lot better. Once we, uh, once you look past, sorry, got focus, things are looking wily up here. Uh, once we think, look past that five behind us, we got a nice little gap, so I have to keep that in mind if things get really close. This guy's really soft through there. And you know, it just got stacked up. Might not even be their fault. Be patient. Wait for mistakes if we see any. That person has disappeared. That's why does this happen right when I'm trying to pass? Clear. Someone's being called an idiot, and it's not me, so we're good. Probably the car that boy engine and I got a really dirty windshield. Right. Feeling okay, tires are warming up a little bit. Still a little sketchy, but good enough to feel a little more comfortable. Fucking you get your... Oh, I would have been bad. I think you'll get reported for this driving at the moment. Oh no, we're going to let this guy by. Right side. What? Wow, okay. I messed that up pretty good. I know you broke right down, mate, but uh, you just blacked right. through those. Right side. I'm taking advantage now. Stay on the left. Clear. So much for that gap. Don't want to start fighting this guy again. And lose more time. 
I made a mistake, so I gotta live with it for a minute. Messed up the angle a little bit there. Thankfully we uh Hey Sam, you gonna hit me again? Didn't get run into. Hi Tom. Ah, I'm messing up this section of this race so much already. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh we got a wreck behind us. Ooh. There's the space we wanted. Wow. I hope it wasn't because I messed up that section so bad that they freaked out. <laughs> I don't think it was, but I still hope it wasn't. Maybe I can actually drive now instead of having to worry about everything else and making mistakes because of it. So, where are we? Are P6 still, I believe? Is that correct? I believe. Oh, I went wide there. Good job. <laughs> Good job, me. But we're uh, still catching, I think. The draft helps, of course. I need to make sure my eyes are where they belong, and that's on the apex. Instead of looking at other stuff. Get distracted. <laughs> Not really get distracted, but I'm like looking at things like the, uh, the grass on the other side of the road when I should be focusing on what's going on in front of me. I normally don't shift into fourth here, but because... Uh, we are getting draft, and it's borderline to begin with. There are times you want to shift into fourth there. Finally did that section halfway decent for once. It's a little hard there, but I think it was actually pretty decent. Once I can trust that I'm, when I hit the gas, it's not going to spin out on me, because the tires are warm enough to have grip, then I can really start hitting my laps, and I think it's about at that point, so... Oh, that's an off track. Okay. okay. It was borderline. I, I, I deserved it, though. Went a little bit too far over. Okay, getting in the rhythm. Well, we got it's crashing, 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 crashing. Saved it, but... We're to beat you all this Mm -hmm. the pace and then covering up my apex. It's kind of a tough situation though, so... Let's hope this person isn't the reason that they crashed and aren't being a menace. So now we're around them. Probably not that we're long though, to be fair, if they're fast. Probably find my way back up there. And hey, maybe the draft will take us right up there with him. Who knows?
peeping out. That feels pretty good. At least for this little uh, group here. So, uh, got a little other group <laughs> forming ahead. Jesus Christ, what was that? Was that you, Miguel? That was a weird way to take the corner, but it worked. <laughs> Alright. No time to take four for the straight. Okay, Colton. 15 minutes left. That's 15 minutes. It's number 30s off the pace. Blue card gets a millisecond of draft. I'm sure that was worth it. Dirty air's a thing in these. Probably not, right? Sometimes it feels like it gets tighter. Following people, but it's probably all in my head. I wasn't brave enough on the throttle there. <laughs> Let me see how much time they just gained. They are braver than I am. Oh my god, what is that move? Okay, that guy was probably the fault of his... The reason for his own crash. Wow. Clear. That was a late dive and a half. I'm gonna watch out for this guy, I guess. And his spoon. I'm racing, though. I always like the Mazdas. But they're not just a rookie car. And uh, it looks like we're catching up to this front group. I'm taking that corner really weird. I need to get that back under control. I'm like breaking too hard and too long and then taking it shallow. I have trouble if I do that. Oh no, that was the fastest Mustang, was it not? No, they lost connection. I don't know if they were in the lead, but they had the fastest Mustang time by far. They might have just blinked out from the lead. That's a bummer. I think the leader of the Mus or the Mazdas has pulled away. And we've got the rest of them in front of us here. The fuel's okay. It's probably that one guy that was really fast. That would make sense. I overdrove that. Get back on it. Bad section. Hopefully draft will bring us right back. late dive thing again. Ooh, almost got our tires off there and died. Should be careful. Can I take this like a normal person? That was better. Uh oh, we got another class up here. Buzzing. Intrigue. That's right. I'm assuming that's Steven. Yes. Uh, we're going to catch him in a weird spot, I think. No, we're good. Take this real slow because they were doing weird things in front of us. Come on, just send it. <laughs> this Crucci, what a bad influence. Just send it, he says. And be quiet, crew chief. If you want to race, you do it in your off time.
Hmm, <laughs> kinda close on the left side there. What is it? What is it? The leader! The leader has spun! Drama alert! We are suddenly battling for the lead. Suddenly crashing! Oh my god. Well done, guys. The moment you start battling for the lead, now we're crashing. You can't make a fucking... Damaged. I think I'm damaged. You can't make a fucking elite without a fucking idiot. It's impossible. Right, you guys. Huh? Saying, yeah, we're damaged. We got engine damage. Cool. That's my favorite. Clear. Maybe we'll be okay if we can keep up in the draft. At least the steering seems okay. We're gonna have to stay in this draft, though. 19 has lucked out big time, I, unless I think maybe they were the leader. Maybe that wasn't the leader that crashed. I don't actually know for sure. What I do know for sure is my car's damaged, and I don't like it, but thankfully it's not bad enough that we can't keep up. You just see on these straightaways, they're pulling away from us, so we are going to need that draft. So I don't even think I want to pass at this point. Schmidt has been disqualified. Doing, fellas. Where'd that guy go? Where'd, where, where'd he go? <laughs> what happened to him? Houdini over here. Okay, I don't know what that was about. Okay, so. Yeah, he's just gone. Did he hit, like, a tire barrier or something and go missing? Like, I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to have to really hit my marks now, because if I lose this guy's draft, then I'm in trouble city. Well, he left. That's what happened. I, I don't know. Got a wrecked. Okay, Colton. Keep doing what you're doing. Whatever class that is. Pink class. I think it's Solstice. No, Solstice is purple, right? That's the Jedi? I always forget. Hmm. My braking points are all different now, too, because my car is going slower into the into the turns. Still can't uh, take that flat out though. Okay, gain some time on him there. The guys behind are catching though. Hmm. Yeah, they're catching fast. I wonder if the guy in blue has damage as well. Obviously we're not going to fight off the faster guys or anything. Not when we've got damage. I hope they're patient at least. We'll see about that. Gonna have to keep an eye behind us so I know when they're gonna go for it. Probably gonna be right here in turn one. All right. Clear. Let's go get some more draft. Scent. Clear. Can't just wait. The gap ahead is now zero. All right. 
I mean, we've literally got a straightaway right here that you could have just driven past me no problem because I've got damage. <laughs> Guess maybe they don't know I got damage, but you would think they would notice. One point three back to the next guy, so we're gonna be dropping more. I think we might be good after that, though. I think the worst we can get would be 6th. 21 seconds is a lot of time to lose. It goes so slow through there. Just hit the brakes harder than I thought I did. Oh well. I think we, uh, <laughs> unless we get wrecked by this guy passing, I think we found our spot. Just that green turns to red. That's the broken car. Still hitting my marks, at least. Just doesn't matter as much anymore. Oh, the guy behind wrecked. Alright. Hey, maybe we got a top five then. Give myself any more uh, unnecessary incidents, then. All that guy needed to do was stay on track, and he had another position guaranteed, but he's using the done. He's damaged, too, and in the pits. Okay, Colton, you've used half your fuel. Maybe more guys will wreck, but unless any of that happens, I think we got ourselves a fifth place. Leader's pretty well gone, ten seconds ahead, but those guys are all battling right in front of us. And, uh, well, they've wrecked already, so... Say it can't happen again. How much time we got left? I ask myself. 2.30. That's almost over. We might even be coming to the uh, white flag. Not, uh, not this time or the next time around. It stinks because I think I could have finished better. But uh, I guess being in a, in a crash... We got off easy, because it could have been so much worse. So, this is probably two laps to go here. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. That lap time was 153. Yes, give yourself an off track for no reason. Good idea. We've been warned about track limits. And uh, on road, I actually do kind of care a little bit about safety rating because I've been stuck on 499 in like oval for a while now. I just got a. Uh, uh, I just got a. I think it was like 6x and C open. And uh, my safety rating went from 499 to 499. <laughs> so I'm pretty content with how that's going. But road, I'm still, uh, I'm at A-class, but I'm still, uh, in the threes. I prefer all of my safety ratings to be in the four, if possible, so I would like cleaner races than this. But I think part of the problem is a lot of the races I do are short little sprints instead of endurance-type races. This is like one of the longer series I do, for reference, because I do like Formula V, and I do their Rookie Mazdas, and uh, those are all short, so if you get a 4X from someone running India, then it's, uh, it'll take a while to get figured out. It takes a decent hit on you, so this one's not going to help either. 
couple off tracks and then the uh what flag four X. I overdrove that corner. But like I said, we're fine. Maybe they'll wreck each other ahead. We can even find a podium somehow, but I'm not too concerned about that. I'm pretty happy with uh, being able to still stick up here with our broken car. It was still a pretty fun race, even though we got caught up in that. And see how it happened, but while I uh, had my usual frustrations with people diving in, because uh, I'm just whiny about it. <laughs> That's part of uh, road racing, I know. I shouldn't be so whiny about it, but I am. I'm just a complainy driver. I'm naturally very complainy when I'm racing. But I uh, had a couple of those that bothered me, but other than that, everyone seemed to be racing pretty well. And we'll get our top five, hopefully. Careful, Tiger. Careful. And no, we're not there yet. That section feels completely different, even with the tiny little bit of horsepower I've lost. Alright, guys, you're running out of time to wreck each other. This is a good corner to do it. I don't think they did, though. Last corner wreck? I see him up there. You know you wanna. <laughs> they're content with how they're finishing, I think. I'm on the accident in Denton's. That's two minutes left. There are people crashing though. There's an incident in Old Hall. You got a slow car on the right. Cast off on the right. You got a slow car on the left. Good race, guys. P five. Ticket flag, ticket flag. Hello. Do do. Oh, there's people still finishing, but I have more talking to people that I was around this race. Even though I hope they had a good race back there as well. We'll go ahead and give it the old parky do. Thank you. Okay, and that'll be an eighth place overall and a fifth place of the Mazdas. That's perfectly good with me. Cause look how many people we got it ahead of. Mazda specifically, still pretty good, especially for having damage. Let's say, uh, let's take a look at the damage. Yep, pretty well dented up. You can see that uh, inner workings in there. That's gotten dented up too. That's why we were going slower. But overall, very happy with that. So, wow, the messy one. She's going. We'll not waste any time and. Watch the incidents. With a better camera than that. There's probably a way I can default the cameras, like... Save car, save drive. I don't know how to deal with all that stuff. But, let's see. Oh yeah, that poor James guy. Lost connection. He must have been winning. This is, uh... I believe before we even take the green flag, we're getting rear endings. Maybe we have already, I'm not sure. Wasn't sure if I would be able to see like any lights. Maybe that really was lap one. Well, that's just a straight take out there. If you see, if you see you're approaching, so okay, yeah, drive on the track. If you see you're approaching someone that quickly. You can hit the brake. Like, you lose a little bit of time, but guess what loses you more time? Thankfully, no one runs into him there as he goes back on the track. Okay, that's infuriating. I'd be really mad if I was that guy. What are you doing, man? <laughs> that broke his car, too, it looks like. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe it just pushed him off. That looks broken. 
<laughs> he's swerving. Maybe he's mad at him and he's like doing this on purpose now. What a what a mess. Oh no, there's that tire barrier. It's a tough spot to be in. I don't think I would back up there, though. I think I would probably go forward. But, whatever. Late dive? Wow, it doesn't work. <laughs> Didn't work at all. Oh my gosh, what a mess. Glad we weren't in this part of the track, I guess. Ooh, that's a that's a good hit there. A solid hit to the left front. Oh, here's what happened to Spoon. Was it his fault? Yes, it actually was. Because guess what? If you got someone on your inside, you can't just turn into them. He's there. Now you're there. And that's what happens. And then he disappeared later. I don't know what happened there. Jet is going for a ride while we got all kinds of cars. Oh my gosh. This is messy. So the Jetta goes off right there. Oh my. The Jetta is passing. Okay. The Jetta is passing and forgets that you need to lift if you're going to go that shallow in the corner. And then I don't know what the Solstice is doing. Probably, they probably are looking to the right watching the Jetta. And so they're not paying attention to the car that's next to them and behind them. And uh, they all pay for it. In some way or another. Jetta looking at the car passing him. Yeah, you just gotta drive your line. It's better for everyone if you're just predictable. If you start looking at someone else and uh, start trying to change up your line, you're more likely to make mistakes like that. We just got a little bit of grass causing a crash. The Jetta just says, and forget this chicane, I would have just bailed on it at that point. I think you just gotta bail on it. Take your slowdown penalty. Here's what happened. Okay, so it wasn't the leader. He was in fourth, apparently. For some reason, I thought he was farther ahead. Or wait, no, he was the leader because the rest are Mustangs. So yeah, he was the leader at this time. So what happens to him? He gets the grass on entry. Okay. He still came back and got second. So who's the lucky guy? It was the... Oh, the Futurama guy. Alright, congrats. He's the number 19, too. That's a big win. What happened to this guy? Third. Because I guess they just battled it out. I don't know. But uh, he ended up with a big lead at the end. Alright, the guy with the cool Futurama car won. Oh, and that's why. Okay. No, duh. Of course. This is what happened. I was in this crash. I should know. So this guy just gets his tires off. And then, uh, I, I just really had nowhere to go. Yeah, I could have braked more. I could have uh, hit the brakes a little harder. I see him spinning there. I don't know why I was... I was even on the gas right there. What was wrong with me? What am I seeing at this point? Uh, I guess I kind of really couldn't see him until late. Yeah, I don't even see his spinning until right there. I still gas it up, though. I, mean, I guess I see this opening. And I think he's just going to punt him out of the way to the left, but... It doesn't. It collects him, and then this guy has to slam on his brakes, so... Uh, it didn't play out how I expected. I needed to be hitting the brakes more than that, though. I still don't know if I avoid it, because, look, it kind of blocks the whole track, but... Probably could have limited my damage a little more, so... Probably could hit the brakes more. That's why I like to watch the incidents, watch what happens in the race. So I can, uh, evaluate things like that and fix it for the future. He just... So it looks like he loses connection. You know what it was? He hit the incident limit. 
That's what it was, wasn't it? 17, yep. He hits the incident limit. Okay. Mystery solved. That's why he disappeared. Man, he was collecting them. I mean, I got six. 17's uh, going for high score. So they, they're collecting like there. It takes them off the track because of it. Uh, suddenly, that's one guy. We're not battling. And they almost navigated too wide through there. Which is very difficult to do. Until uh, the guy on the end, outside here decides uh, not to leave room in the second half of the corner. Maybe he expected to be out in front of him by then, but it wasn't really a big deal. Looks like they both keep it uh, going the right direction. Ooh. It might have been prediction. I don't know if he actually got that damage, but he was so close to it that the game predicted for a moment that he hit that tire barrier. Wow. Okay. The jet is just full throttling a Mustang. What was that about? Is he mad at him? Shouldn't be. I think he just missed his breaking point. Yeah, that's what it looks like. This guy might have been having some trouble. He's been in a couple, uh, couple of altercations. Whoa, that was close. And we got a spin out. I just turned the wheel too hard and got the gas too, uh, too hard as well. Oh, the guy behind us. That's what happened to him. So he was going to catch us just fine with my broken car. But uh, he gets the grass on exit and it uh, sends him sideways. So that's what saved our top five. Ooh. little prediction code there it's close racing seen this guy a couple times in this section I think he gets so close to that barrier that it keeps predicting he hits it I think he hit it earlier too For real so this guy gets uh, all out of sorts from getting in the grass this guy I want to point out did a very good job of avoiding it because he sees he's getting sideways he gets on the brakes hard and is able to avoid it. That's well done. Unlike me, who not get on the brakes enough in the uh, accident. Oh, no. You have become the tires. That's a shame. So what happened here? You got in the grass. He tries to pull it back on course, but as another time, I probably would have just bailed on it. It's easy to say in retrospect. But I think you just gotta bail on it. Take your slowdown. Because slowdown's not good, but it's not that. And that looks like the end of the race, so lots of action. Uh, we got a damaged Mazda, but we still pulled off our top five in the Mazdas. And eighth overall. Good stuff. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I, the production car challenge is pretty hit or miss sometimes in terms of racing quality, but this is a pretty good one, I think. And, uh, I don't know. That's that, I guess. Not much else to say. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.